hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to insert values in GoDaddy SQL Server my little admin if you notice in my web page how to create a signup forum so this signup forum contains four text boxes one signup button one label content right now I am in my local host first step is I will design the signup form and the second step is I will write a code to store values in my little admin of SQL Server and the third step is I will upload this page in my real website which is hostandservers.com now I'm copying this path I'm pasting here and I enter oops could not find the page which means I'm not at upload this page in my remote server before I start the designing part, I would like to show the table of my little admin of SQL Server. I just logged in my GoDaddy my little admin of SQL Server. In my database, the tables open the table of signup. Here, the signup table right now in this table contains zero values, and the table contains one ID, username, email password and re-enter password this is auto generate column now it's time to designing part go to my asp.net project I'm in the source code now and this source code contains h1 and h2 tags only yeah this is a code which contains simple asp.net controls four text boxes one button one and one little control build the solution now let's check in the browser how it looks the designing part refresh the page here it is username email password and repassword now the second step is we need to write a code to insert values in my little admin of SQL server of GoDaddy let's go back to my ASP.NET code behind now in the coding part the first thing is we need to import the namespaces using system dot data using system dot configuration third namespace is using system dot data dot SQL client after adding these three namespaces now we need a button event control let's go back to my source code designing part double click the submit button now button click event is available now in the button click event string main connection is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection connection and this SQL connection takes the main connection here colon third line need to write the SQL query string s1 is equals to insert into table name values now here insert into the dbo dot this is a sign up table insert into dbo dot sign up dbo dot sign up and the values and the, uh, we need to write the column names username email id email password and the last one is repassword 
Now in the values, click the at username, username at email at password at read password. After that, we need to write the SQL command. SQL com is equals to new SQL command, and this SQL command takes a parameter of the string value of S1, which is nothing but a SQL query. Now, SQL com is equal, SQL com dot connection is equals to SQL connection. SQL connection dot open now we need to add parameters to this SQL command SQL command dot parameters dot add with value value and the parameter name is username dot DB type DB SQL DB type dot valcar dot value is equals to text name dot text SQL com dot parameters dot add with value at email sql db type dot varchar dot value is equal to and this text name is email dot text and the third parameter does dot add with value at wd comma sql db type comma sql db type dot varchar dot value is equals to text passport dot text sql com dot parameters dot add with value at read password and the data type is SQL DB type dot the same vector value and text read password dot text SQL command dot execute non query SQL connection dot close literal control there literal one control dot text is equals to thanks for sign up the message will display after inserted values successfully in sign up table here one important point I must specify here the connection string go to web.config file this is a data source connection for the gold ID SQL connection if you don't know where to find the data source connection string of gold ID, I made a video on that how to find the exact SQL server of my little admin connection string just copy this gold ID host connection string go to code behind and add here I'm building this project now it's time to upload this file to the remote server now I'm in the FileZilla FTP server it's time to transfer my local files into the remote server this part here is my local host and this is a remote site I'm connecting now okay So I just connected to GoDaddy remote site. Go to blog, GoDaddy, 
and these insert values SQL Server Godaddy dot ASPX space these two files I need to transfer to my remote server blog Godaddy copy these two files and enter refresh this page yep I just transferred my files let's go to the browser we will check the enter values are storing in sign up table or not now I'm in my real domain hostandservice.com enter the real path yes now I'll show the table also right now the sign up table is totally empty now we will enter some values to check the record is inserted successfully or not go to the browser now enter the username sam samuel sam at gmail.com submit so thanks for sign up now we will check the table is the sam values are inserted successfully or not refresh the page see here it is samuel sam at gmail.com and the password and repassword if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel thank you and catch you in my future videos